Hey guys, this is Leo to review, and we're going over the revised tier list for the season 14 AP items. Now, I want to be honest, I was pretty close uh, with what I had, but there's going to be some changes. Um, the first thing and foremost is that I believed that Proto Belt could be rather good, but I was not confident on putting it highly. Uh, and that was a mistake because, uh, yeah, Proto Belt is pretty amazing. Uh, naturally, a lot of the HP AP items are kind of warping the meta for jungle and in top lane, and even sometimes even in mid lane. Um, and Proto Belt, you know, the fact that it's so cheap, and also initially it had 50 more base damage on the active, which is already pretty ridiculous. I don't know why they added that. And they're going to remove that uh, as the nerf to Proto Belt because they're like, well, this item's kind of doing too much like yeah it's 2500 gold like <laughs> it's fantastic um but even with that nerf like you still get the mobility added to it the damage is still decent uh and it's gonna be in an s tier uh next up you know we have ludens versus malignants um i think i put them in the same tier because malignants technically has the same Almost equivalent same damage when you do proc it, but of course it's only based on your ulti. This item is still good for champs that do have like a consistent, like important ultimate to use. Um like Karthus could easily go this item and it would be pretty good for him. Um I've tried to think about like a Mumu and Fiddlesticks and some other champs like that. Uh, but to be honest, like junglers don't really need that big of a mana pool, so that's the only thing that kind of sucks about it and why they probably preference when Leandre's over Malignants. So Malignants will be in B tier for me. Uh, you have to be very mindful that, yeah, like your champion needs mana uh, and your champion actually benefits from having this. So like Lissandra, I feel like this would be better than Ludens because for Lissandra, it just allows her to get her ulti back sooner, which is really important. Also, it sounds... Well, I was going to say it sounds decent for Vex, but the problem with Vex is if you throw the ulti and hits them, like, they're just going to run. Whereas, like, Lissandra actually locks them in place, so the pool sits there, lowers the MR, and then you do the full burst. So, like, again, you just think about where it's going to be placed, right? Ludens is going to be A tier. Uh, it's just a generally better, more versatile item overall. Um, and most mages in mid will pick this over Malignants. Um... And then for the just to like cover like you know the other AP mana items, Archangels, you know, <sighs> I put this in D tier because I'm not like I think I put it in D or C tier because <clears throat> I was thinking it's not like really all that, especially because as like a first item, it's not the most impactful uh compared to like many of these others. However, what we're finding is that sometimes like people don't really value the actives on these or like the like you know whatever passives they have in the end it's like well it adds some damage but if we're also not going to be fighting early on and i know a lot of people are fighting over the grubs they're not that important like at least the initial set like you don't have to try to get five or six every game like it's not that like important to sacrifice you know your game state just to get the grubs um so if you don't need to rush it archangels like first is kind of okay um and so that is like something i did not anticipate um and why it's now moving up to b tier uh next up so we have leandres versus uh rift maker i put rift maker in s tier and leandres i think it was in like c or b um riot actually is saying that rift maker may be above these other ap hp items in the end and honestly i still believe that um but like for sure, Leandre is an, is an A tier now. Like, it's you just can't avoid it. It just the demonic passive, like the burn percentage, is just too important and too core in so many picks that would normally go like Leandre's anyways. Like, but prior to Leandre's and like demonic, that like you're just gonna grab it. Uh, and then for Rift Maker, I mean, some champs are kind of confused. Like, some people are kind of confused on when to go which. But in the end, it's like if you're gonna get into a lot of fights and that. Like HP value is actually like the the uh, omnivamp is actually important to you. You're probably gonna preference this if you're gonna do a lot more like consistent damage versus burst damage as like this style of champ. Again, this is actually not bad because this gives you more amp damage. And of course, 
if you're in a world where you feel like you're not actually going to go Leandris in the game, or like you're not going to necessarily go like one or the other, t honestly, I kind of preference the Rift still, just because if you pick up other HP items but this, uh, you're getting the demonic AP passive conversion, which is rather important. Um, next up, let's look at the pen items. So we have Storm Surge and Shadow Flame. Storm Surge is going to get nerfed. They're going to remove 10% AP ratio, and then they're also going to nerf the base. I put it in S tier. I'm going to put it in a reluctance, reluctantly S tier position because it's still probably going to be good. They didn't nerf the stats or anything. It's still pretty cheap. Uh, it still adds a decent amount of damage, and it's going to be preference for burst and uh, poke champs. So in the end, like, do I really see that going away? Probably not because Shadow Flame is not geared for like being just like a poke champ. Uh, it's geared for sustained damage archetypes, so champions like Rise preference this, uh, champions like Talia, you know, Cassio, whatever, like, this is a good item for them. Uh, even like Syndra might be the rare case for mages because, um, with Syndra, yeah, she could go Storm Surge, but she also has true damage, which can crit with this, which is pretty damn amazing. Um... And then Void, it's still S tier because these items provide less pen. It's just too important. It's too core in your kit. Um, next up, Horizon Focus, D tier. Probably never going to go it. Like, there's too many good items above it. And the fact that you no longer get it from just crowd control. So if you're, like, even just 100, like, uh, units away and you get crowd control, you would activate it. Doesn't happen anymore. It's a great scouting item. But, yeah, people just, it's, these items are just too good above that like no one's going this uh morello's b tier it's a great item good stats uh banshees c tier the thing is like i like these items and they're good and i could maybe i'll put in b tier even uh and this is probably more c tier like more situational if anything but <laughs> there's not a huge preference also i i don't really like but building this item in like in general like 1800 for it even though you get the passive which is like fine i think i put this higher up i'm gonna move it to situation because it's just like i just don't see people building this shit um and zonia's it's good like it's still fine but like again it's you're probably preferencing the damage over like getting this um and then this again it's like in a similar case where it's like c or d tier because you can't get stopwatch you can't get like the necessary things you want obviously this is amazing uh this blows the fact that it's 1200 now this like being a little bit higher up like yeah it's probably around like c but actually because it coincides with some of these items it's probably around here um crypt loom i mean it's 70 ap 30 percent pen but you lose out 10 percent pen to void uh and 10 ap to void and like who really gives a shit about the heal so like the heal is only good if you're ahead because if you're ahead the rule is that defensive items are better typically so getting a big heal in a fight probably makes things just like harder in in general for like a team to deal with but again it's like i probably will just build void over this every time um guys i think it's <sighs> It's fine. Like the replacement was the Omni Vamp uh one, and that item sucked. And that item would be like C or D tier. This item's like a B tier, it's fine. I still hate Roa. Like I think it's 2600 now. Actually not 2700, but I still hate Roa because it's just not very gold efficient or anything. Rylize, I think I had it lower because these items are so like synergistic. It goes up to B tier, it's good. Uh I think I had Nashers in S tier, and I think it's still in S tier because if you notice, there's a lot of champions that are going Nashers still, uh, because it's cheaper. I mean, the fact that it, uh, yeah, it lost 10 AP, but a lot of champions are like that would go Nashers are also really doing well. Uh, so it's still like well up there. I might even maybe I put in A tier. Uh, no, I'll, put, I'll keep it in S tier for now. Lich Bane is actually A tier. The fact that you get a proc for 50% uh, attack speed, so basically, like, while the spell blade is active, you can get another auto proc real quick, means you can weave in damage easily, and that is... I think this item is a lot better, 
and could be a very insane item at two for certain picks like victor and i've seen some people try, try to rush it but like for instance i think for akali it's shit uh mostly because akali typically needs to weave out of her cues so it's like it, the attack speed reset doesn't really do anything but for victor like for sure like it's just incredible right and it could even be for picks like ari um this i honestly i swear to god i do not see people building cosmic drive um i think it's mostly just the fact that it's kind of low ap and people are kind of realizing maybe i don't need as much ability haste as i initially thought uh which is actually kind of interesting um i think i had this in a tier i want to say because i thought well if you're not getting a lot of ability haste this is like one of the best like ability haste items you can grab uh but again i think it's just because these items are so strong like the hp i like i don't see it being built because you know if i'm playing gwen i'm building rift or Lian like i'm building rift into like nashers right if i'm playing mordekaiser i'm trying to get rylize and then one of these two items, and I'm looking for this item, it's like, when does this get built? Same with mages. Like, mages are getting Ludens, maybe Archangels, and then they want to get these items. Like, it's just... And then you need to get this, and then, of course, I'm going to be honest, typically you do need to get Decap no matter what, but the fact they did a slight nerf to it, so it's really good at second item, and at third item plus, it starts becoming a little bit worse, but it's... Mm, maybe I should still say it's S tier, because it's still an item you're almost always going to build. Like, it's just too core. It's just too important. But the the nerf does kind of suck because it does actually hurt a little. Like, it, in terms of min-maxing, it hurts a little. Uh, losing the 5, like, I think it's 5% AP ratio. But you get 20 additional AP on build. Uh, but you, you will feel it later on. Um, but yeah. I think, I think this item might be pretty exceptional. And yeah, I think Cosmic just... Uh, I don't know, guys. I, I just don't think it's gonna... I, I don't think it's in a, in a good spot right now compared to the rest. And uh, yeah, that's my revised tier list for AP items. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.